Okay, today in Illustrator we're going to create this project that you see in front of you. It's uh, basically a little tool logo. So I'm going to close out, click on print document, and let's name it tool logo. And we'll leave it on the default for the letter size. So the width will be 8.5 and, and the height will be 11. We're going to start by using the rounded rectangle tool. And that'll be the handle for our screwdriver. So you're going to left click and drag. And go ahead and change the fill color on it. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to use a gray for this. What we're going to be doing is practicing using the pathfinder and talking about the align tool. Next thing we're going to do is do the second part of the screwdriver. So left click and hold on the shape and select the rectangle tool. And you want to draw a little rectangle. And then below that, we're going to left click again on the shape tool and select the polygon tool. And we're going to draw the polygon out. And use the selection tool when you want to move it down here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use the direct selection tool. Select one of the points and drag it down and then select the other point and drag it down so it'll look you want it to look like a screwdriver okay and then what you're gonna do is select these and go to where it says align and if you don't have that you can go to windows and select align go to the align tab and while all three are selected you're going to click where it says horizontal align center and that will line them up and I'm just going to change this one a little bit so it's a little more even there there we go just get it the best you can this is going to be our screwdriver there so once you have those we're going to do some stuff with the handle here. You're going to hold down on the shape and select, it, select round, rounded rectangle tool. And we're going to draw out a little rectangle inside of it. Then use the direct selection. Hold Alt. And then you're going to drag it over. So that'll create a copy. And we're going to create a little effect here. So select, hold Shift and select the two that you just drew out and the main one, the main rounded rectangle. Go to Pathfinder and we're going to click on Subtract and that'll give us this little effect. Once you have all those, let's go ahead and combine them. So you can make this one longer. There we go and you want to line it up so it looks correct. Go to align, make sure they're aligned in the middle. And then go back to the Pathfinder. While they're all three selected, and you click on Pathfinder, do add to shape area. And they'll all be on one shape. Next thing we're going to do is draw out our wrench. So we're going to left click and hold on the shape tool and use the ellipses tool. And you want to hold shift and then left click and drag to make your circle. This is going to be our wrench. Then we're going to left click and hold on the shape tool again and select the rounded rectangle. And you're going to left click and drag out and use the selection tool and hold shift. And you want to select both of them and go to align. And we're going to click horizontal align center so they're aligned. Then go to the pathfinder and click subtract and we have the beginnings of our wrench. Now we need to draw the handle so we're going to click on the rounded rectangle again and we're going to draw it out here. So that will be the handle and 
what we're going to do is use the star tool and we're going to draw out a star on it and use the selection tool to kind of move it around and we're going to select both the rounded rectangle and the star go to pathfinder and select subtract shape and we can also repeat that say you want to do it up here at the top you could do that too so you could do you could use any of these shapes really go ahead and pick a shape draw it out and then align it where you want and you know what I'll probably put it like right here nah let's put it here select the main shape and the shape you added and under Pathfinder click subtract from shape area there we go and actually I'm going to undo that I want to go to align and align it in the center there and then I'm going to subtract it that way it's in the center yeah that looks better once you have all those select the sh uh, rounded shape as well as the handle and under Pathfinder click add shapes or add to shape area so now we have our two um, our screwdriver and our wrench so we're going to align them now so you want to select the, the uh, screwdriver hold shift while you drag it and that'll let you drag it at a 45 degree angle and we're going to align this one here and we'll select them both and then we'll go back to align and horizontal align in the middle last thing you're going to do is you're going to draw out a square so use the shape tool and let's see before we do that I'm going to drag this one out just a little bit there we go maybe like that okay so I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw out draw out a square with the rectangle tool so left click drag here and I'm going to select the rectangle and just the screwdriver and go to Pathfinder and I'm going to select subtract from shape area and that's going to give us a cool little design and I can always move this up a little bit select both of them and then while holding shift and they're both selected I'm going to curve them or rotate them and then once they're like that if you want to change the color you can go and change the fill color that's fine and then save it go to file save as okay you're gonna to go to the 506 go to your period go to your folder go to illustrator name it tool logo dot AI click save click OK on the illustrator options and you are done thank you